All right, what's going on dudes and welcome back to another episode of Ultra Modded Survival. So now that the quarry is in sort of a, a reasonable state of operation, there are a bunch of things we can do. I've got a text file just listing off various endeavors that we could possibly try to pursue. I don't know, we could try to do the Tinker's Construct smeltery, make a farm, try to get rubber so we can make circuits and maybe work towards the modular power suit armor. We could try to make a Tropicraft portal. It's not really a portal, it's actually... I think you sit in a chair as the sun is setting while you're drinking a pina colada or something, and then you drift off to a tropical dimension. We could make an oil refinery. That would actually help out the quarry because I was reading up, uh, whoa, okay, we're almost out of oil here. This is going to stop production real soon. But apparently if you refine oil into fuel, it's like 19 times more efficient than oil is so essentially one bucket of fuel would be the equivalent of like 19 buckets of oil and that would be really convenient and it would allow our engines to, to just be powered for a really long time the only issue is that apparently the refinery has to be powered by like four combustion engines so we'd have to have a nice cooling system for that and then more oil to make more fuel and then use fuel to power the combustion engines that are powering the refinery that are used to make more fuel to, oh man, it's so crazy and stuff. I don't know. We could work towards that. And then also we could just do some more adventure stuff with the ore spawn mod and also kill this dude who likes to blind me. See you later, bud. Not today. Okay. Uh, someone else told me that... I heard a lot of comments told me that I don't actually need the, the wooden pipe here and that the quarry is, is just passing items into the chest and that's why I'm not seeing anything actually taking place in the pipe. So I, maybe, I don't know, maybe if I put a, a cobble pipe up against the quarry and then put a pump up to it, maybe it would start pumping because my, my concern right now is that it'll fill up this chest and then it'll just start spewing items out again. So we may want to address that even though, well, generators now stop going or the engines stop going. So it's not going to be a concern at the moment, but maybe I'm going to try to make another redstone engine, actually another two, because we could possibly um, pump water out more efficiently as well if we attach another redstone engine. I don't know if it works that way, but people told me I should attach more to the, the pump so we can try it and then also attach one to this right here so it can maybe pump items out because I've just seen a lot of images on the wiki uh, for tutorials of how to use buildcraft and it it seems to say that that you need a, a pump or it seems to show that you need a pump in order to to make items go through the pipes so anyway why is the why is the waterfall so loud I have the sound muffler oh there just took a second to kick in <laughs> I was like why are you not working sound muffler you're so convenient so anyway, what do we need for a redstone engine again? I haven't memorized. You're sinking into the floor, submarining and stuff. Sorry, I still need to find an ice block so I can nerf you before letting you out. Anyway, oh god, what was that? What was that? There was just a that was a definite explosion sound that just happened. That's what? I don't have any. I don't have meteor mod installed, but there was definitely an explosion that just happened. Please don't tell me that was an engine. Please tell me that wasn't an engine. No, 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 no. We're still good. Huh, what was that? Why would things be blowing up? I have no idea. It wasn't an engine that overheated. Um, what? That was a, okay, so there was a creeper skeleton. A creeper just, hmm, creeper just blew up spontaneously for, for no reason or something. I don't know. Anyway, that's interesting. How are we doing over in our cactus area? Okay, one has grown, so we're good in light there. That's not an issue, so we just have to wait. Let me sleep off the night, by the way. And uh, I have to get out of morph. And after I sleep off the night, I will go and make a couple more redstone engines and see if we can make this more efficient and, and allow the, the chest to, multiple chests to get filled up by the quarry rather than just one. All right, so redstone engine. If only I could memorize all thousands of crafting recipes. <laughs> But, okay, so it was wood, glass, wooden gear, and pistons. Okie dokie, just a second. Let me grab what I need. If only I had my chests all nice and sorted out. Let's see. Oh, we can spawn these two. I totally forgot about them. The, uh, the ore spawn, spawn eggs there. So, okay, anyway, I have wood. Um, I need to grab some iron, which I put somewhere. Where did I put the iron? Right there, and glass, 
and redstone. All right, we'll make a couple more redstone engines. So let's make some pistons real quick. And uh, boom. And oh, don't have cobblestone. Nice. Need to grab that as well. Sorry, I always forget one thing and then have to run back to the chests. There we go. Okay, much better. All right, let's make a couple pistons. I should just make like a ton of pistons because they seem to be involved with so many different re recipes. Uh, all right, there we go. And there we go, and boom. Okay, two pistons and then I need to make two levers or two gears again. Oh, need more sticks. All right, boom, and should be, actually I need four, <laughs> dang it. Uh, and I need to get more wood, all right. So many resources that are required, but hopefully the quarry should make it a little bit easier on us. Not that we're really hurting on wood at the moment since we can go to the uh, brown ant dimension and just chop down one of those trees in one fell swoop. All right, here we go. And four more gears, and that, and all right, cool. Two redstone engines at your service. So let's see if this will work. Where did I put the uh, the pipes? I need the cobblestone pipes. I I still don't know for sure. It seems like you need an engine in order to power item transport, but we're about to find out. Hopefully we can make the pump more efficient as well. Um, and if not, we'll at least have an extra redstone engine for a different pump, which I think we need for the smeltery anyway. All right, let's turn back into a bat. And then after that, we can try spotting the the bugs, the spit bug and, and whatever. I, I think there was actually the uh, a WTF spawn egg that was right under our uh, Carrie's castle on the cliff over there. So anyway. All right, so if I attach this here, it should start pumping because that's providing a signal. Cool, and then, all right, let's see. Give me that back, and are you going to work? Put that down, and redstone. Actually, where do I even connect the redstone? Uh, right here, maybe? that work? No, that's facing the wrong way, I think. Um, can you face the correct way, please? Maybe if I do that. And then, no? Hmm, what are you doing? Why you no work? Maybe it, I don't know what it, hmm. I don't know how to do this. Um, we could try that. I don't know if it has to be powering the thing that's like directly adjacent, but anyway. Okay, so we can put a piece of stone there and then we'll power it or something and see if it does anything. If it doesn't do anything, then, well, Okay, you're not doing it. It probably doesn't do anything though unless there's actually items to be transported and since this isn't running at the moment, there wouldn't be. So, oh well, we'll leave it here for now and then once we try to make the refinery, then we can we can focus more on it. But for the time being, I suppose we'll leave the quarry stagnant. Anyway, all right, let's uh let's mess around with some some more spawn spot eggs and and things and also see if we can find an ice block so we can nerf our dragon so he doesn't burn down our Oh, wait, this wasn't here before, was it? A moonstone block? Maybe that's what the explosion was. Huh, I guess it would make sense because there's a a block right there that is just chilling as if there was an explosion. Maybe this is some fancy stuff that is really rare. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Is this what I was looking at? The ancient dried WTF spawn egg. Uh, let's see. Let me take it and we can check it out why not let's let's check out all these different spawn eggs that we got that we still haven't investigated we can even bring along cherry so she can battle them although you might die i don't know i don't know what your success rate will be with this so let me uh, i'll toss some stuff back in the chest which this is the one i was using i need to get some buckets anyway boom and moonstone ore i'll throw that in the ore chest Loosely, it's just loosely kind of an ore chest, the one up here. Um, but anyway, throw that in there. And then I actually, I have more, um, I have a wither spawn egg, and we, we might want to fight the wither eventually now that we can fly, just so we can get the, the nether star. 
which I wanted for something, and I can't remember what I wanted it for at the moment, but I did want it for something. Anyway, okay, so let us grab that, and actually I only need one bucket, so there we go. Grab that, and we'll grab the spawn eggs as well. And we'll have ourselves a bit of fun. Yes, why not? All right, there we go. I'm so sorry you're flying around all trapped and confined in this area, but uh, it's so you don't burn everything down. What can I say? All right. So let's check these things out. Why not? We have a spit bug, a, a stinky, and a WTF. And they're probably all really bad for our health. But it's cool. Let's go over into an open area and we'll, we'll examine what we have here in these spot eggs. Hopefully nothing that's going to light everything on fire, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. Okay, right here seems to be a good spot over in these plains right here. Yee. Yeah. Right on this island that will hopefully not get us killed. Um, all right. So, spit bug. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, please. <laughs> Is it shooting seeds at me? Uh, are you angry? Are you are you bad and you will hurt me? Possibly. Oh, God. Oh, good. I'm going to kill you before you hurt me. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. It lights me on fire. Ow. Why am I on fire? Why are you on fire and I'm on fire as well? Why am I? On oh, good. Ow. It's okay. There's water nearby. We're cool. Okay. Come, come to the water and then you can light me on fire all you want. Haha. -ha, you're down to 60 health now. Yeah, wrecked. I wonder if this is considered like a, a boss mob. Doesn't look like a, a, a bug or... Ow, God. At least it doesn't hurt too bad. It just looks like a robot kind of deal. Um, anyway, maybe it is a boss because it has the big boss health bar. Oh, are you reloading? Making weird sounds. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Ow. I'm on. It's all right. You're done. Oh, I can transform into you. This is going to be magical. I want to tra... Oh, I'm going to morph into one of those. Uh, amethyst as well. It dropped. Okay, I am morphing into a spit bug. This is going to be the best. Okay, I'm going to morph into a spit bug and I'm going to fight a stinky. That's a spit bug. I don't know what a stinky is, but we'll find out in just a moment. Oh, look at me. <laughs> this is fantastic. Okay. Whew. And I can, but I can hit with my sword and stuff. Okay, let's spawn stinky. Oh. Are you friendly? Huh. You're like a, a ghost dragon kind of thing. That's cool. So you, you're nice. Oh, there's more amethyst over here as well. I walk, I feel like I'm walking real slowly as this guy. Okay, well, let's spawn the WTF, which I assume is going to look real weird because of the name. So, all right, let's spawn the ancient dried WTF. Oh, God, you look angry. You look real angry. Um, it's all right, you only have 100 health. Oh, I'm going to take you out as well. Yeah, mega battle between morphed things and stuff. I actually kind of want a better look at you. Can you stop being on fire? I'm going to run away. <laughs> Crawl away. Oh, no. Oh, God, that is weird. That's real weird. That's... Th oh, God, the noises are just real, real weird. I'm just going to have to get rid of you. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, well, it's okay. I can get a better look at him once I, I have destroyed him. I can morph into him, so... You're making, like, bird sounds and stuff. You actually weren't all that difficult. Ooh, what'd you drop? Oh, you dropped lots of cool stuff. What did it drop? Um... Oh god, she's passing out. That's weird. What? Why did it? Why did it drop lots of stuff? And then the stuff isn't here anymore. Where'd the stuff go? What? Why? Why the? Why the stuff not? Oh my god, it dropped a lot of ores. Hold on. That's weird. But the ores now aren't. It dropped like a bunch of. Oh, was it just iron? It looked like dark. I guess maybe it was just iron. It looked like a, a bunch of like darkened, sort of like seared bricks from, from Tinker's Construct, but I guess it wasn't. Anyway, let's morph into you and see what you look like. <laughs> it's going to be ridiculous. Oh, God. Oh, that looks unpleasant. It looks extremely unpleasant. Like, I, I don't think that I want to be you for extended periods of time. No, no, thank you. We're cool. We're cool. I'm going to go back into being a bat because being a bat is a little bit less terrifying. So... Anyway, but at least we have these at our disposal. The spit bug was kind of cool, though. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. Anyway, here we are. Much better. So, I got gold nuggets, which aren't that great. Cotton seeds. Toss those out. 
I don't think I need that stuff. Um, actually, do I? Do I want these for our farm? We do want to make a farm at some point, so why not? We'll keep them and okie dokie. Cool. What can I make with amethyst? Amethysts. I can make. Ooh. Oh. Oh man, I can already make a better. Ooh, 15 attack damage. This is fantastic. Because the emerald sword is only 10 attack damage, but it does have the really pretty cool enchantments on it. But still, Amethyst Sword, 15 attack damage. That is legit. What other Orsman swords are there at our disposal that could be highly damaging aside from the. Uh, okay, so 10, 20. Still haven't found rubies, though. Um. Big Bertha, which I've looked into on the live stream. I actually, I altered the damage on it to 100 because I thought it was super OP at the default 500. But apparently, people are telling me that the 500 damage is necessary to slay Mobzilla whenever we encounter him. So maybe I'll swap it back. Ooh, Nightmare Soid. That looks cool. I don't know how you get the Nightmare Scale, though. And let's see. Anything else? Mm, I guess maybe we should, until we find rubies... We'll just we'll do the amethyst thing because it looks freaking awesome and stuff and yeah, nice purple sword. Unfortunately, we'll have to disregard our enchantments, but why not? It'll be cool. All right, let's fly back home. We'll upgrade our sword real quick here. All right, almost there. Here we are, home sweet home. Get off my roof. Not allowed up here. This is a no skeleton, no mobs. They're trying to hurt me in general zone, so thank you very much. Okay, be careful, Cherry. All right, so Amethyst, we can just make it right here. Boom, although I, it's going to be real difficult to uh, to to beat that enchantment because that was a real good enchantment. But anyway, now we've got a cool fancy sword and stuff and no room in my inventory for it. Cool. Let me toss some stuff back in the chests. Eventually, I, I know I keep saying it, I will get around to organizing things, but uh, I haven't yet. <laughs> yeah, don't mind me. Let me just toss some more stuff back, and yeah. Um, that would go in the food thing. All right, actually, hold on. There's some stuff up here that I can throw in. Boom, boom. And I also need like an agriculture chest or, or something. Shiny ingot. And throw you in there. We'll make this our agriculture chest with seeds and stuff, and that'll do for now. Okay, so with that out of the way, maybe we should start uh, working towards the, the smeltery for Tinker's Construct. So where did I put the the gravel and the, or the, um, yeah, the gravel and the clay? Did I put you in here? I put you somewhere. Where would that have been? Where did I put you? I got a bunch of clay and a bunch of gravel, and I don't know where I put it. This would be the time to have an arranged inventory. Has that helped at all? Nope, not in there. Okay, I probably bypassed it, but don't mind me. Let me just skip around until I have found it. There's gravel in there and clay. Okay, so I mean, we can try to find more gravel. But we can work with what we have for now. Let's see. So what is it? We need to make grout, I think, and that requires clay, gravel, and sand. Oh, so we need more sand as well, which I think we have. So let me grab some of new, because I put that all down for the cacti. Oh, well, we can fetch some more sand pretty quickly here, just so we can start making. Okay, so we're going to need more gravel. I I'm hoping we have enough clay for, the, uh, for all that we need. To, to make all the seared bricks, but uh, anyway, let me, I'll just start mining out some sand over here where I was doing it previously. Okay, all right, should be good to go. Grab a bit of sand before my shovel runs out. Try to avoid bringing the water in. All right, here we go. Should be enough, actually, I think, uh, until my shovel runs out, and then we can work with what we have. Try to find some more. There we go. And farewell shovel, but how many do we get? 40. That's fine by me. All right. So now we're going to actually, we can, can I combine it all? I think I can combine it all right here. So there we go. And 60. Yeah, as long as I get some more gravel, which 
That shouldn't be too hard to come by. Any around here? Hmm? Any large little deposits? Any large little deposits? That's an oxymoron. Oh, there's another. Have I been in that one? I don't think I've been in that jungle temple thing before. Well, it'll be a good time to test out our amethyst sword. So let's do it. All right, there's so many of the, the jungle temples around in this biome, I think. Anyway, what's this, by the way? Uh, ancient dried blaze. Oh, people were telling me if I turn into a blaze, I can be two blocks high and fly, which could be really helpful, actually, because I, I don't really like the uh, the one high per Get wrecked in one hit. I don't really like the, uh, the one block high perspective that you get as a bat. So this could help out with that. All right, let's, uh, why not? Here we go, we'll just take out a blaze real quickly. Boom and boom, ancient dried blaze, and spawn blaze, and you're dead. You're very dead. So now I can be a blaze. That was quick. <laughs> See you later, alligator. Okay, you can fly, but, oh, are you, are you, ow, stop it. I'm hoping he's not, uh, Resistant to sunlight or is resistant to sunlight. It, oh god, that's obnoxious. I don't want do not want the I don't want the trail of smoke. That is real obnoxious Michelin man out of my way Maybe if I disable particles, let me disable particles real quick. It's a small price to pay to maybe Be a blaze that's also fire resistant, which could be real convenient uh, video settings particles minimal All better. Okay, cool <laughs> I mean, I'm hoping that won't negatively impact other things, though. Okay, now I am at an elevated perspective, and I can fly, and I have a wither helmet. Oh, 